Hello, in this video I want to talk about the Active Directory, especially the Active Directory domain services role. The Active Directory basically is a platform to create identities across your network. Especially with the Active Directory domain services role, you can create identities, for example, users across your network, where the user, for example, is able to log in with his credentials on every PC on your network, with the same credentials, obviously. He has the same rights, the same privileges, the same settings, maybe the same user profile, and many other things across the network on every PC where he can log in. You can also configure, for example, desktop shortcuts, your start menu or the start page with your specific programs, apps and network shares, for example. You can also define a company-wide Microsoft Office Word template so that you have the same template available on all your computers. You can control the delivery of Windows updates. For example, you can deny Windows updates until you have tested them. You can control the favorites and the links in the Internet Explorer. You can control the start page and other security settings related to that. You can control, for example, the printers and the printer shares. And you can say that the employees in the, on the second floor will only see the printer on the second floor and can only print on the printer on the second floor, for example. And many other things that we will see later on. If you want to install the Active Directory domain services on a Windows server, you need to have some pre-requirements, for example, like a DNS server and a DHCP server. In the best case, and the thing that I recommend, is to have the DHCP and the DNS server on one machine, and you upgrade this to the Active Directory domain controller. If you're interested in Active Directory domain services, please watch the next videos.